Okay, so now I have the diaphragm and the magnet right there, which is this is uh, just a magnet with another magnet underneath the diaphragm, so I don't have to super glue or put a hole in it. We'll see how that works. Okay, I'm gonna be using stainless steel for my regenerator down here. See how this works. You can see, this is a pain in the ass. Uh, uh, trying to stuff this wool down in here is really hard. Uh, so, in a real model, you would probably want to make a separate chamber to easily replace or experiment with the regenerator area, which is going to be here. I can't believe it. I'm almost done the Starling engine or thermoacoustic air engine and uh, I run out of rubber bands all the junk I have around and uh, the only thing holding me back from finally doing a test on this thing is a rubber band so of all my worthless junk I decided to go root to the girlfriends and of course rubber bands galore Luckily, my girlfriend came home and told me where the rubber bands were, or the air engine may have looked something like this.